Don't move. Don't move. No matter how hard it gets, how, how impossible it may seem, do not move. And in any and everything you do, make sure God is number one in your focus. In any move you make, and give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, not 50%, not every now and then, fully. And it says your labor is not in vain, which means God's making a promise to us right then and there that he'll bless us and take care of us if we just do what he's called us to do. And that's give him our hearts, mind, and soul, and everything we have in us to serve him. So my encouragement to you guys is, with your finances, be a generous giver. Don't be, don't be selfish. Being a Christ follower or imitator of Jesus is a very selfless act. And it takes a lot of sacrifices and it's not easy. With your finances, be a generous giver. Look out for one another. With your talents and the gifts and the platform, like what me and Dan are doing, this is our platform. And what we're supposed to do is go out, the Bible says to go out and create disciples of all nations. And we're supposed to expand God's kingdom with our talents and our gifts and our, and our influence. Go out and influence others and do your best to give your heart, mind, and soul to God. Everything you have, everything you have in you. And if you need an example, God sent his only son to die on the cross for our sins to be that example for us. Now, I've said all that and all that is wonderful, but you can't do any of that until you create and build that relationship with God. Now, not everybody out here has that relationship with God. But like I said, that's good news. When Jesus died on the cross, he, he replaced our sinful ways with righteousness. And he gave us a second chance. Now, I'm about to be done, but Doug is going to walk you through, give you that opportunity. And I want you to really listen to Doug. He's going to walk you through and give you that opportunity to create that relationship with God and build that relationship with God. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Be blessed and go Bucks. Yeah!